Yeah, good day. Chibuzagua remains the name and also blogging for Tech remains the channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you something different or maybe something you might have already known before. But those that are yet to know, it will be an added advantage. You know, in my last video, I talked about how you can easily block and unblock numbers on your Infinix smartphone. Yeah on your Phoenix smartphone but today I'm going to be doing the same thing but actually with a different device this time around I'm going to be using the Xiaomi phone in particular let me say the Xiaomi Redmi 6A yeah I just laid my hand on this phone sometime last week so I said let me shoot this video so that it will be useful to people that want to use it you know I'm the kind of person that I don't really download or like downloading lots of apps yeah you know, most people, when they buy a new phone, the first thing they will do is to look for an SMS or call blocker app so as to restrict some certain numbers from calling them. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily do that with your Xiaomi phone without downloading or installing a third-party app from the App Store. Yes, you can do that. Just like you did in Phoenix, you can also do it in, what, in Xiaomi. So before I proceed, I would also like you to subscribe to this channel, yes, because I'll be dishing lots of videos, similar videos like this, which things you don't know that your phone can do, yeah, I would like to reveal them to you, yeah, that's it. So now, uh, let me say, let's proceed, yeah. So this is, a, um, this is actually a Xiaomi phone, I just bought this phone some few weeks back, yeah, you know, Xiaomi is now in Nigeria, so their phones are now easily accessible. So now, this is my Xiaomi phone, yeah, and I'm, I just updated to the latest MIUI, yes, MIUI 10, this is it. So if your user interface is not displaying this way, then I guess you need to do some upgrade. Yeah, you need to do some upgrade. So let's go. Let me now show you how to block and unblock numbers on your Xiaomi phone using the Redmi 6A as a perfect example. Now, before I proceed, this is my home page or let me say yeah, the home screen so now which app or which feature can you use to achieve this without downloading from the play store the google play store so now let's proceed yeah so if you can see from this my home screen just like i said you see a particular app security yeah the security app the green shield icon i guess you might have seen that yeah the green shield icon so what you do first of all let me first of all show you how to block numbers before you will now move to the next stage, which is unblocking numbers. So now the first thing you will do is to do what? Tap the security icon, just like I just did. To first of all scan your computer, your, your phone, sorry, not necessarily a computer, yeah. To first of all scan your phone, yeah, to check if it's healthy yeah, and that's all. So now you are in the security display screen. What you do, you now scroll down, scroll down to the bottom page, as I just did. Now you see, you see lots of icons with different functionalities. You see your WhatsApp cleaner, Facebook cleaner, some problems. Now, from the icons displayed below, you see from the first row, first, yeah. The first, um, the first column, sorry, the second round, the first column, you see block list, block list. What you now do, you now tap on what? Block list. Now, it moves to a different tab. You can see this tab originally is supposed to show you the numbers that you have blocked. The numbers that you've blocked from calling or sending SMSs to you, like you see from the top, you see SMS, move calls. No numbers are there actually. Okay, I blocked the number earlier on, and that's the same number I'm going to use in this example. So now what you now do, to block a number, you now tap the J icon at the top right hand corner. You can see the J icon, you tap on it. You should now move to the next tab or the next window. You see different lists. So now what you now do, you now tap the portion that says block numbers. You now tap on it. This is a particular number I blocked earlier on while testing this feature to see if it works. So it works. That's the reason why I said, let me shoot this video. So now, what you now do to add a number, you scroll to the bottom. You now click what? Add. Now, they now show you different options for you to add your number. Different options where you can add numbers. Are you trying to add from your phone number? 
or are you trying to add using the prefix or are you trying to add from your contact list so what i did i actually choose phone number phone number yeah so now these previous numbers are blocked that's why it's still popping up so now you now include the phone number that you want to block so let me still use my number now i've included the number so now they have two options are you trying to block the number so that it won't call you if you just don't want the number to call you just on tick sms so the number can easily send sms but if you want to block the number so that it can send you an sms or call you choose both or if you just want to block the number from sending an sms you just untick block calls so in this case let's just use the two so now after taking the two and including the number the next thing you do from the top hand corner you now click ok if okay so the number is automatically in my blocked numbers as you can see so now like i normally do let's give it a try let me call the number let me call the number from my other phone. Yeah, the phone is idle. Let me use my other hand and tap. So I'm trying to call the same number from my other phone. Yeah. Let me see. I'm calling the number. Let me place it with my earphone so that I will know when it rings. I'm still calling the number. Actually, from my ear the phone is as in it rings then it tapped that the reply was that the number is busy on the line otherwise hang up now you can see that's the report that it gave that the number was actually busy let me try it once again and set it on loudspeaker so that you hear what i'm trying to say i'm actually calling this phone still ringing no still trying to connect you can see the, you can see from the sound that it gave it rejected the number automatically to send an message at regular call charges. so that is just it but you could notice that i'm trying to call the same line that is on but the reply that the, the other phone is giving is that the number is busy why because i've blacklisted the number from calling me now to confirm that the number actually called you just go to security Tap the same security, let the app load, you scroll down to block list, then calls. You'll notice that number I actually called twice, as you can see, and that's my Airtel line. Yes, Airtel is a network in Nigeria, maybe in Asia too, yes, they're in India. So I actually called from my Airtel line, I labeled it Airtel. You can see Nigeria to indicate that I'm actually in Nigeria and calling from Nigeria and shooting the same video in Nigeria. So that is it. Twice I called, but the number is what called block list. Now let's try to undo this number. Yeah, let's try to unblock the same number so that you can I can easily receive call from this number. Or maybe I've blocked the number for a certain while. Now I want to unblock it. Yes, maybe it's after two weeks, three weeks, or even a day. Now let me see. I want to upload this number so that I'll start receiving call and SMSs from this number. So you now do the same method. You hit security. You scroll down to block list. Now calls. You see the number is there. Now what you now do, you still type the chair icon. And you go to block numbers. Then this is the number. Now if you look at the bottom bottom of the screen, you see where it had, it had edit. So now what you now do, you click on what? Edit. I tap on edit and there's an option to select the number. I've selected the number. And if you should go back down, you see where there are two options. Either to add to exceptions or to delete. Now I want to delete the number entirely so that it can easily call me. Or I should be easily, I said I can easily receive SMS from this number. And now hit delete. Then the pop-up comes up. The pop-up comes up. Do you really want to delete yes i say the I mean, you remove this number from your block list i'll say yes remove the number is gone so now we'll do another practice to see if i can actually receive call from this number let me now with my other phone i'm trying to punch i'm punching the keys here i'm dialing like normal i should put it in a loudspeaker so that when it rings you can easily hear it so i'm dialing the number it's trying to connect
to receive the call i tap the green so that is that miss call from airtel you see how easy it is for you to achieve this feature without downloading any extra app from google play store save yourself the stress of i mean say increasing the internal storage as in creating more files in it instead of allowing some space so you could should save yourself that stress what you should do just use this very feature the security feature that I use to attend this purpose. You see how easy it is. Just the same way you use the um, other app, um, what's the name of In Phoenix, yeah. Um, X Manager in Phoenix. You can easily use the security feature in your Xiaomi Redmi phones to achieve this. So you could see how easy it is to block and unblock numbers on any Xiaomi Redmi phone, yeah. Like I said to all Nigerians, the good news is that Xiaomi phones are now in Nigeria. Um, yeah, you can easily purchase them if you should see the blog, uh, the blog post that I did. Yeah, I did a blog post about this video preview um, earlier on. Yeah, before I shoot this video or record this video or create this video, I did a blog post. You could see from the blog post there's a link whereby you can easily purchase this phone. Yeah, at a cheap price if you're in Nigeria africa or the rest of the world i drop link where you can easily buy this from so that is that you can see how easy it is to block and unblock numbers on your xiaomi redmi phone now if you think this video is usual is useful you can easily share yes share and also before you leave just like i said from the beginning subscribe to this channel and also click the notification button so that you can easily get notified when i shoot or create videos similar as this yeah they're quite useful and like i will always say chibuza remains the name and blogging for tech remains the channel before you leave a link to this very blog post is in the description of this video yeah it's in the description so you can click on it and in the post you see a uh, another link here where you can have um the opportunity to buy xiaomi phones at an affordable price so that is that so we've come to the end of how we can block and unblock numbers on Xiaomi Redmi phones. Thank you. Bye-bye.